morning. It's Friday, March 15th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Pattern of a Life, and our scripture is Philippians chapter 3. Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine, and learn from those who follow our example. For I have told you often before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes, that there are many whose conduct shows that they are really enemies of the cross of Christ. They are headed for destruction. Their God is their appetite. They brag about shameful things, and they think only about this life here on earth. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives, and we are eagerly awaiting for him to return as our Savior. Paul said two things here that make us sit up and take notice. First, he said, follow me. Pattern your life after the way I act in following Jesus. And secondly, he said, when it comes to Jesus, there are only two possibilities. You believe or you don't. The difference is that black and white. In making this point, Paul says that those who are not truly citizens of heaven are enemies of the cross. Most of the people that I've known who refuse to be identified as a follower of Christ don't really consider themselves enemies of Jesus or his gospel. They just don't believe or think all the religious stuff is silly. But Jesus made it that plain. And when he said those words to his disciples, it must have been a memorable statement because both Matthew and Luke record it with precisely the same words Jesus gave to them. Luke chapter 11 and Matthew chapter 12. Anyone who isn't with me opposes me, and anyone who isn't working with me is actually working against me. So, if you refuse to be a disciple, you don't have to set up a war room against the kingdom. Just by not serving Christ and his kingdom, you're still an enemy of the cross, in or out. That's not hard to understand. That other statement Paul makes is to encourage the Philippian believers to follow his example in following Christ. I have to say, as a pastor, this one gives me the willies. It's one thing to personally accept the responsibility to follow Christ and do your utmost to surrender your life to his leading. It's quite another to put yourself out there as a pattern for other people. It seems somehow either arrogant, do this like me, I'm your pattern, Or it seems dangerous, like you're taking on the responsibility of success or failure in someone else's eternal spiritual life. Paul was a million times more faithful disciple of Jesus than I am, but he wasn't perfect. He made mistakes. Now, if that's the case, there must be something more here. It's my opinion that Paul was looking back over his life at how he'd tried with everything in him to do right and to proclaim the name of Jesus. And in the process, he'd learned how to follow Jesus and how not to follow Jesus. And in that, he could say to his beloved Philippian clan, do what I did, give it your all, write sometimes, blowing it at other times, but don't just stand there waiting for holiness to fall into your lap. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. For you today. So, what pattern is your life taking on? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.